Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is a good time for all. There's Zachary Zabal here if you prefer. Um, this video is kind of be going to kind of be a blast from the past, the way I used to do videos with, you know, just me and a cell phone, um, because I'm going to expand upon this one and just don't have the data yet to um, make a video. I don't know yet, really, to be true. But here we have our um, flat earth um model we have the north pole in the center we have our 45 degree north mark at the blue circle the equator at the red and our 45 degree south here with the green now what i did we have these two pieces of paper okay now they have a line running right down the center of them that are exactly the same and then lines running a T right through here. I know this one just looks like a few different lines marked all over each other, and I'll show you why. But um, the T is equal on both of them. Now, this has to do with the rotation that we see um, with the sun and moon wagon wheeling in the sky. As you watch it throughout the day, you'll notice that the sun and moon kind of do a rotation. They turn this way in the sky as you watch them. And my last video I did showed how that works on a flat earth with the perspective. And it got me thinking, can we tell a difference between the perspective from 45 degrees north and 45 degrees south on a flat plane? And will it be different than the globe? See, in a globe, the perspective at 45 degree north and 45 degree south would be the same as long as the luminary was passing over the equator at that time. So what I did is we have some holes punched in here that go in the hole in the center. And is that it? Oh, hold on a sec. got to make sure you get it in the hole oh i'm having trouble let me um i'm gonna have to push down on this a little bit there we go and give it a groove the paper must have moved on top but as you can see here now that line that goes this way on the piece of paper it follows the equator perfectly so it's going to go all the way around and be lined up with the equator. And what these are is we have a line every 15 degrees. The luminaries in the sky move about 15 degrees every hour. So this would be our solar noon right here. All of our measurements will be taken from this zero degrees right here. And this is the latitude or the longitude that you are on. So whatever longitude you're on, whether it be north or south um, of the equator, you're always on that same longitude line. So this will be your longitude line. No matter where you are, we're going to mark that as zero. So if you go three hours before solar noon, and we line that up over here, that would be at our 45 degree mark. We line up our sun where it is. And then we take a shot from the solar, from the 45 degree mark right here. And you can see that it lines up with that line that's already on there. We move it down here to three hours past. We get our sun in the right spot, and you can see that it lines up with this other line. So that's the amount of rotation we see from 45 degrees north. I've measured these. It's about 58 degrees. If you set this on here, put that there, it almost comes out to be 60 degrees, but it's about 58, I would say. Something like that. 
So our next one will be taken from out here at 45 degrees south on our longitude line. Now it can be taken at any latitude line. It doesn't have to be 45 degrees north or 45 degrees south. Now as you can see, the lines are kind of all garbled up right here, and I'll show you why in a second. But again, we follow right along that equator with our middle line. Now when we go to 45 degrees or three hours before solar noon, and we set this way out here, it barely crosses over that line. You know, there's just a little cross right there. We move it down here. Three hours passed. Line this up. No comparison. See how those, why this X right here is so squinched together compared to this one? Now on a globe model, these two should look the exact same. So, are the sun and moon that we've been looking at, you know, we see them almost every day, do they disprove the globe themselves? You know, just from measurements from different spots along the plane. Now, before we get into the parameters you need to use to take your shots, I'm just going to throw this out there first. Um, if you'd like to help, I have some measurements already from the north. I know other people that have them as well, but we really need some data collected from out here. Um, anywhere, you know, close to, I'd say, at least 30 degrees south or more. We want to try and get some accurate data gathered from there of just that wagon wheel rotation that we appear to see in the sky. Um, again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, how the sun and moon wagon wheel, the description will be in the video below. And yeah, just throwing this out here. Um, I think this could be a globe killer, folks. Undisputable, depending on what the data shows. If it does show they're the same, um, not going back to a globe, of course. There's way too many proofs. So it, it's really just going to teach us something about the sun and moon and the appearance from the difference from north to south. Is there more going on up in the sky than we, you know? I, I mean, the sky is such a mystery already. This could just be another big, you know, <laughs> another big conundrum we're going to have to try and figure out. So yeah, um, all we can do is learn from trying this, but I'm going to need some help from out here. So that's it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this could be a good one. Uh, this is Good Times for All here signing out. As always, thanks for watching.